Good evening, fight fans, and welcome to UFC Fight Week on Fox, brought to you by Musashi. My name is Nico Pajarillo, and I'm joined today by Australia's first ever UFC champion, Robert Whittaker. Well, the Sugar Show goes on this weekend at UFC 292 as Sean O'Malley enters his first title fight. We're going to interview Sean on the show in just a moment and also chat to Ireland's most exciting contender, Ian Machado Gary. It's another bumper edition of UFC Fight Week. Great to have your company, and Rob, my friend, it's great to see you again. How have you been? It's good to be on set. Uh, I've been good, mate. I've been good. I uh, took some time off and then just got straight back into it, gonna with renewed vigor, renewed focus. Now, it's been a month, and I know you're sick of talking about it, but I do want to touch on what happened last month. What went wrong at UFC 290? Oh, mate, what didn't? <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those things. Uh, I've mentioned it before. He, he showed up, and I did not. It's just... It's it's a funny it's a funny sport it's a funny business to to not show up on, and yeah there are some things that me and my team have sat down and we we assessed you know in the lead up in the preparation for in the fight week itself how the fight went down, but um yeah you know I'm I'm taking I've always come back stronger and, and better than ever from losses so I'm taking this as a, a good kick up the ass. <laughs> You've, uh, since 2019, been hunting Israel Adesanya and mm. you've said that you will never stop hunting him, mm. whether or not it's for a belt, whether you're two blokes in a car park <laughs> in 30 years. Is that the same now with Drikas Duplessis? Are you hunting him now? Yeah, he's, he's definitely on the list of, of people I want to run back with before I, uh, I wrap this up. My, uh, my focus right now is to just really cement myself in in the training in the process and in in the fight game in the fight world that's uh that's what i'm doing i feel i do feel like the last prep my i got a little distracted perhaps you know there are some things i was juggling that yeah, it, it's hard it, you know it's easy to hindsight's 2020 it's easy to point the finger afterwards but this this is a turning point for me this is a catalyst this is this is something that i feel i'm going to come back better for and moving forward, I want to, yeah, I, I never want to lose again. I want to, I want to finish up the career, you know, undefeated from this point. And we can't wait to see you back in action. But Drikas Duplessis earning a title shot, not immediately though. Sean mm. Strickland uh, announced to be uh, headlining UFC 293 on September 10th in Sydney. What are your initial thoughts on that matchup between him and Israel Adesanya? Yeah, it's, uh, mate. What, what, <laughs> what, what can I say? The, the fight that, the, the the fact that that fight happened at all is is quite unreal just Sean doing what Sean does coming in late notice five weeks notice like ready for a title shot against one of the best middleweights ever it's uh yeah it, it is it's going to be an interesting fight I I am curious to see how Adesanya approaches Sean's style because it is very unorthodox he has a very upright straight stance he is susceptible to leg kicks but he likes that pressure fighting I think the Sean we saw last fight was um probably his best showing I think that is a very you know a very dangerous Strickland I'm very interested to see if that Strickland can can do something that can trouble the counterfighter that Izzy is. So you think Sean's actually got a decent chance of taking this championship back to the US? Definitely. I think I think every middleweight worth their salt has a puncher's chance. Like every every one of us hits like a ton of bricks, you know. And and as you saw with my last fight, like grit and determination on the right night can can do big things. So you know, with Sean coming in with nothing to lose and. You know, being a little unorthodox and being the way that he is, his upright stance, he's, he's taller, so his reach is a little better. He likes the pressure fight. And to go with that, the showing that we saw in his last performance, you know, I would not rule Sean out for this fight. 